What's good, you guys? It's your boy, Jay Freshman, back with another tutorial. Finally got my laptop back, so now, you know, finna just be pumping out this shit. But anyways, let's just jump into a session that I'm doing right now, and starting off with the piano, and I started off with the chords. So before we get into how I did the chords, I want to show you guys quickly on how to build a chord if you're a beginner. Um, I already cloned this channel, so... You're just going to do like a little practice run. Go to piano roll. Let me just go to a different pattern. So F4. Do shortcuts. F4 to get to um to go to a different pattern. So essentially starting off, okay. So it was in C minor, but I switched the key in this um in the wrench tool. You don't have to worry about that. I'll show you what that means all later. Um, so starting off, if you don't know how to, if you've never seen a piano in your whole life and you don't know the layout, it's pretty much consists of seven main notes. And those are the white notes. So starting off with C, then D, then E, then F, then G, G then A, then B, and then starting all over again. Black notes are just essentially like, if you, so it goes by the term flat and um, sharps. So it's pretty much the same thing. It's just the way, it's just how you perceive it. So if you're going up in the scale, then it's going to be considered sharps. If you're going down the scale, then it's going to be considered flats. And for any pianist out there that wants to throw in their little um, ideology of what it, how it really works, then f feel free to comment. But for the most part, from my understanding, that's what it is. You don't have to go too deeper than that. Like, other, you don't have to go too deep in this shit, G. Like, really make this shit simple. And if you didn't, if you can't remember that, remember, the root note shit is right here. So every time you switch it, that's C sharp. Then boom, D sharp. I mean, D, then D sharp. E, F sharp. So if you can't figure out what note you're in, just look right there. Or the root note you're in, just look right there. So with that said, going to the piano roll now. Now we can build our chord. Like I said, I did this in C minor as far as in the piano roll. So that's what we're going to do. So right next to the magnet tool, then you have like this chord tool. So I did it in minor, C sharp minor. So click Aeolian. Probably didn't pronounce it right, but that's the natural minor scale, you feel me? So it already laid out the whole scale, but what you want to do is, so it's going to start off highlighted. Just hold shift, drag it to the right, and um, just keep going up the octaves because you want room, and I'm going to show you what I mean. So go to the next C sharp. Most likely you're not going to go past the, um, the seven octaves, so let's... Let's get to the bass notes. Boom. Boom. And you want to drag it out to about, if you're, especially if you're in double time, make sure you drag it out to nine. At least get four bars. You don't want to have a, just a two bar pattern, G. Don't want to do that. All right. So essentially, you want to cut that, put it in your sampler. Make sure you bring up a sampler. If you don't know how to do that, just right click. And then go to sampler, wherever you, the sampler is. I know I passed it like 50 times, right here. And then that's how you bring up the sampler. So then after that, go to your piano. You should have all the, um. you can see how it's a brighter gray, meaning that those are the keys in the scale now. And if you can't see that, go to your um, far left corner, go to um, tools, I believe. No, go to helpers and then go to ghost channels because these are ghost channels. These are considered ghost channels, the bright gray. So you can see the keys in the scale. So and then you just build your chord, man. Like, And how you build a chord, you skip every other note. Boom. And you skip every. So when I say skip every note, you see the gray, the bright gray ones. You skip that. So. So for this one, I'm starting on B. I will skip C sharp 
and go to that one. Boom. So here it is. And then a quick tip when it comes to chords, the way to make chords, you could start off like with a one liner and the one line, cause you're essentially really only hearing the top part. And I'm gonna show you what you mean, what I mean. So it's like, if you take away those two um, notes at the bottom of it, this is what you're really listening to. So, if you could get the top line melody, that, or get the top line harmonic, then to skip every note, like reverse it, you feel me? So, skip every note going down. Boom. And that's how you build a chord. Like, I could have easily showed you guys the um the notes that I use, but that wouldn't really help you. That's what I'm saying. I wanna dive deep in shit and show you how to really do this shit, man. Not just show you my fucking screen of what I did and with no type of understanding. You know, that's not what my tutorial is gonna be about. I'm really gonna be teaching you guys how to do this, not just you know throwing the shit at you guys. So essentially, that's what I did with my um chords. Just mess around to it, mess around with it until it sounds good. And add bass notes. As you can see, it's in a lower octave. And I just let that shit repeat, man. And then next thing, I did an ARP. And for the ARP, I think I just cloned it. Yeah, I just cloned the pattern. Yeah, for the ARP, same thing. And this is the thing with ARPs, man. Like, this is why I love ARPs. Like, if I'm not trying to do too much, I know that I could put an ARP and it's gonna pretty much, it's gonna fill up the space in the beat so it could make it sound like oh this it so it can make so it doesn't sound like really bl like plain like with with the piano that's cool but it sounds like there should be something else and arts is always good to fill up space look at that Can't tell me the same vibe, see. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. So yeah, man. Like, I don't make music difficult. Like, I don't be trying to get all crazy with it. Like, I just go with what flows right, what sounds right, you know, and the vibe. And the art really gave it that vibe. Now, as far as melodies. I was able to make my melody just by listening to this. But, so it would be like. So you could come up with melody. <laughs> Melody. <laughs> you could come up with many melodies just off of this having your chords. You know, that's the main structure. And it, like I did this with the other video of how to make melodies. If you haven't seen that one, watch that video. I pretty much use a loop. And then at the end, I really I just got rid of the loop because I was able to create melodies from the loop and then make a beat out of it. So. For those that don't have a musical background or grew up around music where, you know, their mind works in that way, that's fine. You know, um, what you're going to have to do since you started from very, very scratch, you're going to have to take the logic route, meaning you're going to have to learn some music theory because anybody is going to tell a, um, a beginning producer that, oh, just keep listening to music or this. 
they telling you this shit that's just going to lead you down a long-ass path. Like, that's not how you get better, and that's not how – that's not an efficient way to get better and faster at doing things. Like, what I would tell you guys that's starting from scratch, learn music theory, learn critical and analytical listening. That's because you're going to have to start listening to music different than just a normal user. A normal user, they're not really listening to how the snare hits or what kind of reverb is on the snare or if the snare is distorted. You're going to have to start to learn about that shit. Like I said, Google critical and analytical listening, then do some music theory. Then, um, like I said, take the logic approach because what logic is, logic creates creativity. Logic creates creativity. So, like I said, if you're from scratch, you can't just jump into creativity with no type of logic. Like I said, all these producers that you're looking up, like, that you're looking up to right now, they all had pretty much a musical background. Either they started playing the instrument while they were seven, or their parents, or their friends, or they, yeah, it's just, it just goes like that, man. So, if you don't have no kind of lo- knowledge in the background, make sure you take the logic approach. I promise it will work out. So essentially, I was able to um, come up with a melody like this. Simple. Simple. People ask me how I come up with um, melodies like that. Like I said, I have both logic and creativity, and that's not like bragging, like I study. I knew I grew up around musicians, but I wanted to take a step further. A lot of you guys already have creativity, but y'all feeling blocked because you don't have the logic side. It's like, like they said, one part of the brain is logic, one part of the brain is creativity. Just imagine if you're only using one part of the brain, you feel me? Just imagine if you're using both parts now, so. And trust me, I'm still learning. Always keep learning. There's no ending to your learning <laughs> when it comes to music or anything profession. So now that I had uh, um, the chords and the melodies done, now when it comes to the drums, the best way to do your drums is around a vocal idea. Try to get out of flow. You know, Like I said, if you don't have no kind of background, listen to um, a rap song or listen to the vocal and the genre that you're doing. And... You can even use their words. Just kind of mimic it. You feel me? And then this is what it would sound like. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. And you don't even have to say words. Yeah. Just get that flow going. Yeah. So I'm thinking yeah. something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Getting on the road. Oh. And I'm moving dope. Oh. Hey, them niggas know. Oh. All these niggas bro. bro. Get into the Oh, oh, niggas ready, no, no Try me, you can smoke, smoke. Try me, you can smoke I got that pole, oh, oh. No. Niggas know you ride around and no, no. Oh, oh. Chopper in them bags and you're not roll oh, oh. Oh. Cops hitting on me, nigga, I don't know no. They don't want smoke, nah, no. nigga, they ain't no They don't smoke, oh. hey. So you see, I didn't really say anything And, um and you don't have to get too crazy with it. You don't have to start mixing the vocal and, and all that type of shit. Like, all I d- really did was probably put, like, auto-tune and shit. I don't think I put, like, a reverb and all that. You could get a little creative so it could um, spark more of a creativity. But I already knew from listening to that, I already knew where I could go with this shit. So, yeah. So, let's time for the snares. I did pretty much a simple snare pattern, as you can see. So, I'm thinking yeah. something like this. Yeah. Yeah, getting on the road, oh, and I'm moving dope. Oh, hey, them niggas know, oh, all these niggas bro, oh, get into the dough. Oh, niggas ready, no, oh, try me, you can smoke, smoke, try me, you can smoke, I got that pole. So for that second part of the snare, I just add a snare roll, you know, you want to kind of have a little variations to it. Hi-hats, I didn't do much at all, I just brought up a hi-hat, and you know, Simple pattern. Oh, oh, there's no no hot hat or anything like that. Simple. Now when it came to the kicks, now this is when vocal idea really comes in. Like 
especially when it comes to the bass and the kicks. It's going to be very easy to do your bass and the kicks because now, like I said, <laughs> this is more for the people that, you know, kind of grew up with, you know, some kind of sense of music because then it just comes to you. But I feel like for the most part, if you've been listening to music, you should be able to do these kind of things. Like for the people that, like, I feel like if you didn't understand this, that means they took away music from your whole childhood. Like you didn't get to listen to any kind of music. I don't think anybody, I mean, there's people out there that probably couldn't listen to music from their whole childhood. But for the most part of the people watching, I feel like you at least heard some kind of music, you feel me? This is what brought you to this video or this what inspired you. Something had to inspire you to make something, you feel me? Make beats and shit. You must have had listened to a song or something. So you should be able to kind of know where in your genre where shit will hit. Like, yeah. So I'm thinking yeah. something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this shit was just off the dome. Like, like I said, I listen to a lot of um, trap music, so I know where shit could hit. And not just listening to a lot of trap music, this finding the pockets. And what I mean by the pockets, like, I guess, you know, essentially, subconsciously, is really just understanding the rhythm of your genre. Like, this could have been, you could have added some crazy drums, like, like, you know, it could have went that way, but for me, in the trap genre, I know that trap don't really get too crazy with the kicks. I mean, it can, but for the most part, it's not kicking that much, like, rapidly like I just did. So, if you want to get better at having this air, so to speak, like I said, do a lot of critical analytical listening. Start from scratch, you feel me? And this is how I put my kicks together. Yeah. Da 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 da. Hey. Da 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 da. Hey. Da yeah. Da da. Hey. And you don't even have to say words. Yeah. Just get that flow going. Yeah. So I'm thinking yeah. something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Getting on the road. Oh. Man, I'm moving dough. Oh. Hating niggas. No. Oh. All these niggas. Bro. Oh. Get into the dough. Oh. Niggas ready. No. Oh. Try me. You can smoke. Oh. Try me. You can smoke. I got that flow. Oh. There's no you ride around and no, no, no. Chopper hitting on bags and you're not roll. No, no. Cops hitting on me, nigga, I don't know. No. They don't want smoke, nah, no, nigga, they ain't no hate so, no. There you go, you feel me? Like, I had a little variation, like a pause. Oh, oh, right here. No. There's no you ride around and no, no. Pause. No. Chopper hitting on bags. And then I took out the kicks at the end for this part. So these are just always think about variations. Um, it don't have to get too crazy. It could just be in a matter of like just taking something out. So I ain't going to make this video too long. So I'll say the 808 in the mixing for the next video. So like and subscribe if you fuck with this video. Share with your producer friends if you found this helpful. And um. I really want to make sure everybody gets on the same p page, you know, especially people that are starting from very, very scratch. So hopefully you found this helpful.